still have a pass-through door. Whether we two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, does it matter what you drive, Kelly? Well, it does today because we are at the Bronco Great Smoky Mountain Stampede in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. That's right. And where? There's no Broncos. Where, where are the Broncos, Kelly? Turn around. Oh, oh, it's over all through here. Okay. What is going on, everybody? I hope you are having a tremendous, yes. I mean that, a tremendous weekend. And uh, you would have a better weekend if you were in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And you should be here if you're in driving distance. That's right. You should be. But you would have a better time if you were over here in Pigeon Forge uh, enjoying all these cool Broncos. First off, I want to say thank you to Diabolical mm -hmm. back there. Brought us in. Said, hey, come come hang out with us. And uh, hang out. We will. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to Alan later. You guys know I'm always going to talk to Alan. But anyways, I want to give you guys, for those who cannot come to this, I want to give you a little bit of experience what it's mm -hmm. like. What you can expect now this is a first year event yes so if you are a jeeper that's been to this event before and you're expecting that chaos we're not there just yet <laughs> this is the first year and uh justin and his crew have done a fabulous job mm -hmm. a lot of cool vendors that you'll get to see here in a minute and uh i'm just excited to uh see something big for bronco like this yeah boy. absolutely i you know this is more of a vendor show so mm -hmm. if you've been to supercell east or supercell west or supercell anything um you know that it's more of a enthusiast kind of experience where it's just really kind of grassroots and you do have vendors as well but this yeah. is more of a vendor type show kind of like sema is what i'm kind of thinking a little i mean bit, except the public not can be quite here. Yeah, the public can be here. So that's really kind of what you're looking at for this particular event. If you're looking for stuff for your truck, mm -hmm. those types of things, that's really what this one's for. Yes. So I want to I want to say this. Uh, it's not super crowded. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, there's been quite a few people run mm -hmm. through here. But I want to temper expectations right from the get-go. This is first year. Justin and have put a lot of money out to yes. start building this. So I think next year, I think it's going to be nuts. I really mm -hmm. do. There'll be so many more Broncos out. So I just want to get that out of the way real quick. What is up, YouTube Car Spotters Guide? Randy Hughes, Big Wheel Fab, Al. Uh, so let me uh, figure out how to turn this camera around, and we'll start the uh, the tour. And uh, like I said, bear with me here. Bear with us. Where is that? Okay, we want rear camera. You want the best camera. There you go. There you should see. Now there we go. There All we right. Go. So we will kind of walk through here. First up, it is. AR Off-Road, Affordable Off-Road. They have all kinds of cool bumpers there, as you can see. We'll kind of take a look real quick, see what they got. Oh, they have old school and new school. Yeah, so it looks like they do a little bit of everything here. And uh, some great prices. They got new Bronco bumpers there, bare metal. I like the fact that they're offering bare metal on that. And it's, uh, you know, because some people want to do their, they want to do their own powder coating. Mm -hmm. Look, we've got a straggler back there, Miss Diabolical. <laughs> um, but, and yeah, look, they're doing for all the old Rangers and stuff. So that is really cool. And uh, obviously they're doing show discounts. And that's something, Kelly, that you yes. see here, show discounts. Because, well, I, I had to use that show discount. We're going to go by Oracle. But I had to use the show discount. Because, Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, it's, it got expensive. Anyway, so let's look right through here. We got RC uh, V uh, Performance Products. And uh, they got their big Bronco just lifted up, you know, trying to show uh, their suspension systems the way it looks here. You like toy Broncos? We got toy Broncos there. But a uh, good-looking Bronco. I like the. I'm not normally a chrome wheel guy, Kelly, and that doesn't look too. No, bad. you're not. Full bead I'm locks on surprised. that. Surprise. Definitely bead locks on there. So uh, you know, ooh, nice case KMC tires on that, and elevation hey, off-road there. You. I like I like when they do 
they take the tires off so you can actually see the parts that you're getting on there. So as you can see, a lot of armor there. Obviously, you're getting better trailing arms. Um, very nice. Let's go down this way, Kelly. We'll just take a take a mosey on down here. I don't know that we've been down this aisle. I haven't got to see much of the part, show yet. Part of this aisle. That's right. Uh, our friends, Mountains to Metal. You know we're going to talk to them. Uh, a lot of tire companies, Kelly. Yeah, a lot of tire companies Which here. Off-road makes sense, right? Which one of the main sponsors is Nitto for yes. this event. So you've yes. got Nitto and then you've got Cooper tires here yeah. as well. They got Cooper, they got uh, a bunch of cool tires sitting in there. Um, we know that we know that one, but there are displays over there. We'll hit them later. We'll spend a little time there. Yeah, but let us know in the comments if there's something, <laughs> if, if there's something you want to see us stop by in the comments, please let us know. Um, all right, so let's see, solid vendor question here. What you, I, had my glasses uh, this is okay. I got a solid vendor question. I picked up an abandoned order Badlands. It was last color. Oh, settle for area. I was willing 50. to settle area, which is a good color. What accessories would make it stand out? Ooh, well, area 51 orange pops real well with that. Yes. Um, you'll see a lot of that. Yeah. And you know, hopefully you'll get a good idea as, as we walk through here, some things that you might want to throw in there. Oh, I kind of like um, that. That's I know. Cool. I saw this earlier. I like this little pop out tent for the back of the Bronco. This is from looks to be, oh, what, Asus. That's cool. Oasis Trail Gear there. Yeah, definitely when you're on the beach, man. That would be definitely the way to go. Oh, oh there's Oasis. Oasis, <laughs> hi. We're, we're with All Terrain Nation. Can you tell us a little bit about your product? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not used Here, to Here, give mine. Phone. Give my mic. Sorry. Here you go. There you go. Talk to him, Kevin. So it just straps to your back roll bar like this. You pull it out and it's a canopy shade. Comes to the sandbags and the ground spikes. Or you throw it over top of your Jeep Bronco and it comes in emergency rain cover. It's nice. Nice. Uh, how small how small does it pack? It packs up like this right here. This oh nice. Like so it's it's up. about the size of a chair, essentially, yeah. is what it is. If it's underneath your hard top and your soft top, so you always have it with you, it takes up no trunk space at all. Nice. And is it interchangeable to different brands and everything, or is it brand specific? It is interchangeable. So okay. it Broncos, two doors, four doors, Jeeps, two doors, four doors. Gotcha. Gladiators and, as well. And price. Price is three ninety nine. Show price we do three hundred. So if you find us at a Jeep show or a Bronco show, we do the three hundred. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we appreciate Very your cool. time. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. There you go, guys. Uh, that's actually really interesting. Can you hold this? Yeah. Second? Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's actually really I don't think I could kill that one. <laughs> no. No. I think you could. I think you could. Shh, don't tell but, everybody. But especially at the beach. Yes. I can definitely I can definitely see that. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. See, we got now we visited the shirts. Now you can't not ever stop at a you gotta see the shirts when yes. you're at one of these things. 100%. I always have fun shirts. And uh right here, Kelly. I know this is the one you keep telling me I need to buy. But did you die? <laughs> and uh, no, I trust Kelly's driving. She did buy this shirt from this this company. So uh, yeah, it's you know, that's to be expected. Because uh, it's true. Raising you is exhausting. We got Willwood here. Oh, you want some uh, big brakes and uh, lots of custom ways to do brakes. Wow. Willwood is a top, Party. top brake company. Especially if you're into racing, definitely into racing. You can see we're heading our way to the Oracle booth, which uh, I need to keep away from. We've yeah, because we're not buying them, anything more today. We've already given them money. And I can't tell you exactly what we've bought right now. It'll ruin the video. But we something from this booth we did buy. But as you can see here, we'll quickly walk through. One of the things, I don't know if you saw this, Kelly. Did you see the little starlight? Yes, I did. And I actually love them. But I the only my only challenge is, is uh, I think that they would get dirty yeah. easily. Yeah, I love, I, For and us. this is not a part of it, but I love this wrap they have on this, that color. Yeah, it's super pretty. It is really cool. Uh, new dish lights, freeze up your space up here if you got an antenna or something like that. We've got new dish lights like that. Um, the the one thing, you know, Kelly, that, that I've seen, I didn't think I would like are the taillights. Ah. Now, our buddy with Lifestyle Off-Road has these taillights, and at first- Are these I, the ones he has? Mm -hmm. At first, I was, I was just kind of- I don't know. I kind of, you know, I kind of like them, but something, obviously they go well with this wrap as yes. well. The, the darkness of it. I would agree. But these are pretty, these are pretty rad, man. I'm not going to lie. Maybe down the road, we'll crack one on the trail and instead of buying factory, we'll uh, replace it with this. 
One thing too, Oracle has is if you got a hard top, they've got a light mount here. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if it kicks on or not when you open it. It was on earlier. We crack a door open, Kelly. I thought there was a button. Yeah, it was that kind of. Yeah, that's a button. That's definitely a button right there. But. Oh, right. thank you. Oh, there, there we go. Is. What a great idea. Um, especially if you're, you're doing any prepping, we, we've done our own version of this on old cars yes. where you just take some LED strips, but the fact this, this goes right over the motor, it looks like a cover that goes right over the motor of, uh, the windshield wiper. Very cool. And you've got now Kelly, you're out there prepping, doing something, you know, cooking, whatever mm -hmm. you, you need to see in the backup, even for daily use, like shopping. You found on your exterior when we did that to your exterior, it was very helpful, right? I did, yeah. Especially if you're doing, you go to the grocery store and it's dark when you come out. That dome light just doesn't cut it on my exterior. Yeah. So this would be amazing. Yeah, and very bright too. Yeah, for sure. So, because we're in a very bright area and it's still very bright. <laughs> and awesome. that, having that look, the little switch glows there. Very cool. That is very nice. Well, could you see if we had a hard top, would that be something? Oh, 100%. It would definitely be something we would have. Yeah. Uh, the Oracle guys have been very nice, man. Their their booth is very nice, uh, very helpful too with uh, un, not unfortunate purchases, but the purchases <laughs> that we did make. And they're they're we weren't planning the purchase. Their Bronco just looks really cool. But these these uh, one of the things they have here are these headlights and all their glow. And I like how they have Oracle. They had just enough letters. It's like Ford planned that for mm -hmm. Oracle. They that, did. Uh, mm -hmm. They do that. But they got the fog light replacements. Um, the light bar up top kind of looks factory it mm -hmm. just blends right in if you did not know that wasn't how it was supposed to come yeah uh, you know you might be fooled and go oh that's how it was somebody talked about rock jock in the comments rock jock okay if you want some uh the looks like probably a rear sway disconnect very nice all right gentlemen definitely heavy duty use um, you're wanting to get in all to the, uh, it's like they got all the, the trailing arms and stuff down here. Very nice. Very beefy. This is, this is the stuff. If you're, you're definitely going to the extreme, you're definitely want, you want the heavy duty stuff. That's beastly. Yeah. That's, that's, look at my fist. <laughs> <laughs> that is nuts, man. Um, let's see what else we got going. Where are we at? Oh, here we are. All right, somebody was asking about, see, orange, Area 51. Yes, there you go. Orange pops really well with Area 51, and it's not, like, crazy. Mm -mm. Or I don't feel like it's, like, you know, just, it's not, like, exploding in your face. No. It, I mean, it goes well with if you've got a Badlands yeah. that is also well, Area 51. you see, 51. they've done a lot of orange in here. Yeah. So that's actually cool, and it matches the, the Badlands oh, logo. Oh, look, you can do that to Rebecca. No, I cannot. Uh, and look, they have a matching Bronco. Oh, isn't that cute? That is very, that is very cool. Uh, you can see it right there. Ooh, how fun. Lots of rock lights. This has been popular for quite a while. Of course, you got uh, light bars on top. And it's a uh, best top soft top, which is something we may have to buy down the road. But you know who this is. We had dinner with them. We did. Buck your Broncos. Kelly, can I have that mic? Yes. I'll let you just hold it for a second. All right. You see Buck your Bronco, all kinds of mounts, cool mounts for your, uh, for your Bronco. <laughs> this way, too. Thank you so much. Try to, try to get in here and talk to him real quick. Having a giveaway. Yeah, oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't given a chance to. Yeah, that was girl. You the first time the girl watching. Right. Like I said, get, if you have comments, I'll try to get to them the best I can as we walk through here. But so this is so cool. All this stuff is so cool. Good luck to you and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Buck your Bronco. Oh, we got a. Uh, you don't have to. You can just hold it. You can just hold it. That's all right. I can. I can clip. I'll drop it if I hold. <laughs> How is this show going so far? Doing really good. Really good. We got a much better turnout today on Saturday. So what? Tell me a little bit about because I know I know a little bit about. But tell our audience what what's going on here. What are you doing? Yeah. So we do uh, dash rail. We got a small and large dash rail here and all the phone mounts and accessories that go with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a uh, large and a fault, small phone clamp. So a lot of the phones nowadays are pretty large. Yeah. And then extended arms to get it out in front of the dash. Uh, and then we also have radio mounts. Uh, so you can clip a handheld or like a CB microphone. And where does that mount exactly? That. 
on the rail itself. Oh, so okay. How cool. With one of these adapters, it just bolts right in and uh, it gets it right out in front of the dash and easy access to hold your radio. Oh, how cool, man. That's awesome. We've got a the mag the magnetic. Oh, that's a charger too, right? That is. So you can pop your charger there and uh, it, oh. it holds the phone and then charges at the same time. That's very cool. GoPro for you YouTube folks. Come on, man. You got to join the club. I don't, the imagine who would use that, who I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, looks like your, your GoPro seen some action there, but uh, no, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's very what cool. GoPros do, right? Right. Um, why, why, how did you get into this? That's a good question. I don't saw know. a need, <laughs> just saw a need though. And yeah, I think I just started playing around with stuff and then, uh, my wife was looking over my shoulder, what I was wasting my time with and kind of said, that's maybe not so much a waste of time. You should do that. And, right. Um, uh, she, she kind of does her own e-commerce business stuff mm -hmm. and, and kind of pushed me towards this and, uh, wouldn't be able to do it without her. And we just kind of making a, making a go See, at it. Smart. You bring the wife along and good things happen. Um, how can they find you? Uh, buckyourbronco.com. We're, uh, we technically have Instagram, but we're mostly on website email. Nice. Um, so nice. Well, we appreciate your time, man. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So I'll give you your microphone back. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Hopefully you have a good show. Oh, we got the cage. We're caged in people here. That's where the crazies go. If you're bad, do you go to there? You get jumped in there? Oh, all kinds of trail flags. That's fun. Oh, I see an Ohio State flag over there. That's always fun. What's going on, man? Ultimate accessories. So as you can see here, all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff here. I like a little, I like the little top for that. That's nice. Your puppy needs armored up. They've got you covered. All kinds of looks like patches, molly bags, stuff like that. It's very cool. Look, your, your puppy is ready. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Mark King, for the uh, the addition to the headlight fun. Or maybe the taillights. I don't know. You'll have to see. Oh, uh, see. What do we got going on here? This big bad boy. Well, this is part of. Uh, look at all the KC lights on this thing. Miss Kelly Boyd is back. Lots of cool. You can't you can't be off road and not have a lot of fun lights on your vehicle. And uh, clearly, this one here does it. And this is part of. Looks like they're uh, stitching and stuff for their seats. Very cool. Looks like a neoprene of sorts. Uh, nice stitching. Nice little Bronco in it. Look at the little zipper here. Put your wallet stuff like that maybe in there secure it that's actually really cool i like the i like the bag mounts here on the side with the little molly attachments that's very cool they were at supercell they were uh but i like i like these covers very very heavy duty feeling too kelly like like you wouldn't just tear those up or you could have your pet like they have oh, wow. a lot of pets in their display and it wouldn't get torn up yeah no plus you got you still kind of keep if you've got a badlands you're keeping some of your mollies idea where you can have it on the back seat so for those of you that are familiar with carhartt this is like a carhartt yes. type of feel yes. is what it is but and they're part of central kentucky uh broncos that's very cool man uh ooh, look at the nice nice oh that's table cool. in there yeah these are uh pretty pricey but it's very nice you can take it out wash it very yeah. very cool you can see in the back what some of the, the attachments they have here in the back very nice. Uh, fire extinguishers. I do recommend having a fire extinguisher if you're yes. going out on the trails because sometimes things happen and um, you don't want to completely burn up your, your vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it's it's always, or if you're cooking back here, you just never know when you might have a need True. for that. So uh, general tires across the way there. General tires. Let's see what they've got for a display. Looks like they got a couple Broncos there. Of course, general tires big in the off-road world. Looks like you can stand here for a free set of tires. That's all. That's all awfully cool. Somebody may want to maybe screen capture that, and uh, you can play along at home. But big beefy tires. Look at that. I love these grabbers, man. Very nice tire. Uh, I actually thought about running their tires on a rig, and just, just didn't. But 
sweet wheels with that. You gotta have if you're gonna have cool tires, you gotta have sweet wheels with that. So very cool on that. Very cool on that. Uh Toyo tire booth. Nice big tractor trailer in here. Uh big old Bronco. Very rare four-door Bronco. I forget what they called this exactly, but uh it was very cool. A Centurion or something like that. Uh, BMS built this, but look at the tires on this, the wheel package. You gotta have the big deep dish, the big deep dish the wheels on that. But uh, these are their open country tires. And uh, I do like, I, this is another tire company that I, I'm, 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 such a, I'm such a tire snob that I've wanted to break out and run some other tires. And Toyo was on top of my list for running tires. Now, next up, we've got our friends at Mountains to Metal. And all Mountains of Metal does is sell hats, the way it looks. <laughs> it's, they're just a clothing brand now. But hey, but hey, you know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, worlds. they do have, oh, there's parts. Okay, they do have it. Um, Sarcasm at its finest. That's right, that's right. But this, the, the, the Meta cabinet, which we just did a video on installed. Very cool, we we're enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, let's look around here. Of course, lots of cool Molly things, Kelly. Uh, that's something we haven't got too deep into just mm -hmm. yet is adding mm -hmm. now in our last, or our last off-road vehicle, we did have not quite a bit of Molly attachments, but we did have some stuff and we actually used it. We kept right. silverware stuff in bags out on the trails where, you know, you our knife, want, our hatchet. Yeah. You didn't like stuff. That. You didn't want flopping mm -hmm. around, but very nice display of course you know you guys you guys have seen mountains metal on our channel before and uh there's justin's justin's bronco i can't believe how polished and clean his bronco is um there's the clothing there's the clothing brand ambassador guy <laughs> guy um here uh, sorry we're a two mic family right now it's just we're just gonna leave this one watch kelly try to take that off Nick, how's it going, buddy? It's going good. How are y'all doing? How's the show so far? It's doing pretty good. Right. So, I can't believe you let Justin back in your display. It's, uh, it's tough. tough it is Justin. tough, man. Uh, what's the hot item for the show so far? Um, A lot of people are still interested in the squash baskets. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. And good for you guys because, hey, they're pretty easy to make, I would think. Yeah, that and the med cabinets. Are yeah. Good. Yeah, and we just did, uh, installed the med cabinet and did not install it properly. Trust me, because... Nick was like, privately, he's like, hey, you forgot to put two bolts in there. And I was like, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Yeah. But uh, still, it's very, very easy to yeah, install. It's not bad at all. Uh, it nah. really is easy. So. No. Nah. So um, will you be back next year for the show? Of course. This place is awesome. Man. Yeah. It air really conditioned, too. Beat some nice. of the events that we've all been together. There's air conditioning in here, oh, which I is know. real nice. I know. I haven't even been outside yet, but I'm seeing people coming here all sweaty. And, like, enjoying and no stuff. wind to take your tents with you. I know. That's, That's right. right. Well, yeah. It's a little shaky. It's a little shaky. <laughs> Don't touch it. Um, so Y'all come check us out and measure yourself up and get, get some old squatch over there. That's right, which is, uh, we, I can't show people right now because I'm, <laughs> I'm a small squatch. Uh, anything new coming down the pipeline? Anything we, we can do? We just came out with two-door rear cargo stuff that's in the booth down here. Nice, uh, nice. We have a couple other things we're working on. More accessories for our tailgate. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple other interior items. Okay, okay. So he, Nick always keeps it close to the vest. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah. Trust me, I ask and ask and ask, and even privately, he's like, I can't tell you, because he knows I'll run my mouth and tell you guys. <laughs> no. But uh, but anyways, Nick, enjoy uh, enjoy your booth. You always have a nice display, and uh, let's walk around, Kelly, and uh, we'll yeah. aggravate some more people. All right. Thanks, Thank you all for stopping by. Appreciate wait, wait, wait. Where can they find you, Nick? Uh, MountainsToMetal.com. There you or go. on Instagram, Facebook, check us out. Always be pimping, sir. Always be pimping. There you go. I wish you could Nick, this is Nick Struck here. Very, very cool. Uh, and he actually gets abused. That's that's the cool thing about it is. I love I mean, the squatch on the side. Yes. But he actually, he beats the piss out of this yeah. thing. And uh, of course, you got to buff, you know, you got to buff it up a little bit, polish it up. But uh, we've talked about some of theirs. There's that squatch basket, which uh, we've enjoyed the one we had in ours mm -hmm. quite a bit. Great for sunglasses, whatever you uh, you might want to throw oh, in there. Oh, here's the one we, we did the install on this too. You what? We did an yeah. install on this. Oh, yes. Yes. One of the, as silly as it sounds, and it was simple install, it's nice to have a radio attached there. You put trash bags on there, all kinds of fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I've actually seen somebody, I don't know the brand right now, but I see, saw somebody came out with a new one, and you do actually have to screw in four 
four screws in it. This one, you don't have to screw into anywhere. It's all yeah. already existing. So, super cool. Wow. All right. Keep continue on walking. And Toyota Tires, once again, has a nice booth, man. They got all their tires. They break down. That's nice that they're breaking down about each tire. Uh, open Country Series. I know my buddy Luke's run their Open Countries. I've really, these here, these uh, Open Country MTs, I've desperately wanted to run. And uh, for some reason, just can't. Can't, can't get there just yet, but they got a nice Raptor on display here. I like, I like the matching uh, mm -hmm. rings there. Speed got, lock capable. It is speed lock capable, but uh, all kinds of all kinds of people here. Big monster truck, Kelly. Those tires are massive. Yeah. That's awesome. A Rancho in the house. Of course, Rancho does. I used to run their shocks on my my Nissan products. Very nice. Of course, they got two two displays of Broncos here. The big Kahuna, Kelly. Do what? It's the big Kahuna. Let's see. There is Quake, Quake LED. They've got a. Uh, they got the billboard. They got an Everglades sitting up here. And the Everglades made its way back into the lineup for twenty four. Kelly. But Quake, we've seen them. At, they were at Supercell. Yep. They do all kinds of fun stuff. Look at look at the delete that they've done there. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of fun. Uh, a little cracked. Uh, but that's very cool. Oh, you know whose this is? I guarantee you this is Josh's. Oh, probably. Wait, is there a beat to crap fender here somewhere? He get it finally fixed. Remember, he put it into a tree or something. But yeah, he's replaced it. Oh, I'm sure he has. But that's fun. But the old the old billboard here. Yeah. Doing good, man. Cumberland Customs. All okay, kinds he of put fun. a super chat in there. Oh, he did? Yeah. Bring me your butt. No! <laughs> what are you, Andy what are you, you doing? Andy misses you. You guys are crazy. Uh, LED, <laughs> you think LED Quake has like... Uh, maybe. They have a, a little bit of LED, just I think. A, just a, a light or two. Yeah, but nice display here. And uh, I'm, Kelly, I'm happy to see the turnout of vendors for a yes. first year event that, and like i said it's tough they're used to the you know justin the guys that do this they do the uh, the jeep invasion and that, that thing is carries massive. over next week yeah you can't walk your elbow to elbow with everybody here which is nice honestly it's kind of a nice surprise of like we don't yes. have to beat our way through a, a line here for sure and we get to this is a nice way to get to show you guys the event too it's pretty mellow uh best top kelly mm -hmm. Ah, best tops that company that we need to uh we need to probably add to the bronco at some point right yeah at some point <clears throat> the, the factory top yeah. there's no there's no hiding kelly the factory top is uh while it was nice to have this off top option yes. probably not the best performing option right no not at all especially against this one <laughs> uh you know you can clip that i know but oh. you keep making me okay i'm sorry take it off but best top Number one for tops, you can see there's the four-door top back there. Uh, have you really paid much attention to the four-door top? Uh, just that it's got that fastback, and fastback's yeah. not my not my favorite. I love it on the two-door. The yeah. four-door, I'm like, but it, right now, it seems to be probably the best option yeah. for for replacement top. Uh, I love the old school. It's like they put a Coyote yeah, or something cool. in that as well. That's very cool. Of course, it's got the old best top, top on it. Empire Off-Road LED is in the house. Very nice displays. Look at all the fun, the fun lights that you mm -hmm. can do. Christmas time, that would be fun to. Uh, you mean instead of, instead of my wreath on the back? We're not doing no more wreaths on these <laughs> things. Um, you wait, you wait, you'll see. I had to cut it off. Um, let's see. What I'll else do it differently this year. Reaper. 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 Which looks like a dual, dual exhaust here. Nice tips. Reaper off-road. Uh, 
very nice. Very, very low hanging fruit. Very easy to. Uh... Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if you want to do like a, a dual or the single with the dual tip out, looks like they have something there for everybody. That's very cool. Just um, the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> Lots of signs. Look at all these signs over wow. here. Wow. Now, if they could just build an ultra-rain nation LED sign, I'd be happy. I mean, for the right price, I'm sure somebody would. Right. We're not brand specific, but I wouldn't mind having one of those Ford logos, you know, maybe get everybody kind of logos on there. I love the old school Ford sign here. You can see it right there. That's very cool. Dyna Pro with hand cook. Hand cook tires. Um, kind of, I don't really always think of hand cook for off road, but I know they're they've been pushing hard into that market. It's very nice. Oh, it's Once on again, a Ranger on their thingy. That's right. More options, the better. That's why I say it keeps prices low as well. Here we have Rigid, and you know. Kind of the king of LED. That's that's the way they are the, uh, they kind of, I won't say started the market, but they were one of the first to get into the market. And, and you get what you pay for. Yes. It's one of those things where, yes, you do get what you pay for. And Rigid is a high quality, high quality uh, company. But they've got a nice little display here. I like how they're bringing back the old school lights with yeah. the, uh, the round look, you know, kind of that old school fun, fun approach. Yeah. Oh, let's see, Nitto, which is a sponsor of this event, and they've had they've had some uh, people in their booth sign some autographs. Nice little, uh, nice little uh, racer right there. Rock hard, rock hard four wheel drive. It looks like they do bumpers and such. Let's see. Bumpers, skid plates, sport cages, and rocker guards. Very cool. Interesting approach with their bumpers. Cactus gray, Kelly. Yep, it's your color. Yeah, it's my color. Looks good, though. Of course, somebody was asking about colors. Even cactus gray with the orange kind of yeah. kind is very nice. Oh, look. A true rock slider. Oh, look it's not just a uh aluminum step not just a uh, step. rough country here man rough country is uh you know we've for... actually been pleasantly surprised with rough country mm -hmm. this trip no known for lifts and stuff but they're getting more into the overlanding i love the bat wing yes if that, that's the bum the one bummer of the soft top for us is you can't have a lot of attachments like that of course yeah we had we had a canopy on your Xterra, mm -hmm. loved it. We used it quite a bit yeah. more than you probably thought. We actually we used it like at ball practice and yeah. all sorts of places. And yeah. a bat wing like this really could use it, right? Oh, a hundred percent, yeah. But uh, let's see here. They've got they've got a nice nice rooftop tent. Um, more of a, it looks like a two person tent up there, as you can see. Um, but this is rough country, and. I like. It. I think if for us, if we were to do a rooftop tent, it would just be the hard case like yeah. that. Uh, not the old school flip out. These they pop in seconds. Basically, you you release the latch. You got to put in a couple uh, hooks for your yep. your canopy, and then you're and, ready to roll. Yeah, you're done. Uh, but rough countries actually they're jumping into and doing a lot of stuff now. Oh look, they got a table. Oh nice. That's that's different from what the way it attaches that mm -hmm. we've seen so far. Um. Look at the big storage box, Ooh. man. That is that is crazy. Uh, probably helps I turn it. But a lot of storage with that. Very cool. And it's good for folks that want all that storage that wouldn't quite work for us just right. because of Plus, all of ours. But you still have usable underneath it. Yep. Uh, they're doing some Molly stuff there with some attachments. Uh, nice shovel and stuff. Way to do that. Very very cool. But once again, I think the star of the show for me is this bat wing, Kelly. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I love the bat wing. Uh, and cool thing about Rough Country, Tennessee company. Yes. So we actually learned this trip that quite a bit of their products are actually built in the U.S., which we yeah. did not know. Yeah. So solar. So you uh, got your refrigerators, or whatever you might need to uh, kind of keep your truck charged a little bit. Nice portable solar panel there. Very cool. Not thick at all. So uh, you're not if you're buying this kind of stuff. What some of the bummer is you start taking away from you don't have room yeah so the idea that it's just super thin that's very nice but rough country has a very nice display yeah 
stay tuned because we've been talking to them and uh, hope to bring them on the show soon to yep. do some interviewing. That's right. Uh, let's see here. We have Catskin, who uh, we talked to Catskin yesterday because we were talking to him about uh, our seat covers that we bought yep. from. And, uh, but you will see those on the channel soon, I promise you. And they're amazing. And I cannot wait to uh, show those to you, man. But Catskin, really for Bronco, that's the company I hear more, like Bronco 6G, all the forums. You see yep. you see a lot of, of their product out there. So that's very nice. Uh, oh, and I want to show, I do want to show this. So we showed this on the Jeeps. We showed on the Jeep products that they, um, they do a lot of cool uh, uh, stitching stuff like that. Of course, there, but look at the perforation they do. So I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but that's an American flag. Console you cover. It. You can see the the way they've done the vented seats. It's an American flag, and we did one a couple about a year or so ago where we interviewed them, and, and they uh, in the blue, the blue seat really showed up really, really well, mm -hmm. Kelly. Yeah. And it's but, got a cool console cover. We know a lot of people have asked about those yes, as well. Yes, because people want a soft touch, so that's yeah. kinda, that's kind of neat. But you'll see more of them on the channel coming down the road. Oh, that cactus gray two door there. That looks that that looks perfect. Man. Step away from the cactus gray. No, but I'm saying as as like it's a classic color. It's a two door, like a true looking Bronco. That is that's pretty nice. More shirt vendors. And I think next year, I think we'll see more and more vendors in this building. Oh, yeah. Um, but a lot of, starting to see quite a few people rolling through here, which is very nice. Wheel Pro, let's look, what do we have here? Oh, Morimoto, we'll walk around there in just a minute. They do all kinds of cool stuff. Rockford Fosgate, this is one of those things, you want your Bronco to sound a lot better? Well, Go Rock and Frost Gates, how you do it? Yep, and that's who we run in our our Bronco, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it's for Frost Gate in it. Nope, not yet. No kickers. Kickers is who we have. Kicker it. is who we have. But Rock and Frost Gates always been known as kind of the upper tier, upper tier for speakers and stuff. It's like they got all kinds of radios. A lot of stuff probably for the older generation. Seems how you can actually put radios. You can change all that stuff out. The newer ones, not so much. They don't got a black diamond. You don't see very many black diamonds around. I like how they have the the trim rings and everything to match looks really cool i dropped a video earlier today on havoc havoc is the i believe title sponsor for this event one of them yes yes and a big display here and a lot of product and had i not been over to oracle and got mama bear to mm -hmm. let go of a little bit of money there there was going to be money let go here. uh really was there yes he was going to try to get money out of Mama for over here. Yeah. Let's rephrase. But let's kind of look, because we didn't get to look at their, their display really much yesterday. But uh, nice Bronco, got all kinds of LED. It's kind of neat how the LED, you can put it in behind the little bull bar there. Of course, it's winch ready. Uh, the little trail armor that you have with the LED built in, that's very cool. Pocket flares, that's nice. They've got their sliders there for 250 um, pretty crazy. Look at the, the flare deletes, 250 bucks on that. Very nice. They get the rear bumper back here. This is their uh, soft top, Kelly. So we, so we saw these in the box, but we didn't really get to, uh, to take much look about it, mm -mm. but for 600, this is show price, but for 600 bucks, not too bad. Very cool. I like that. It just doesn't flip back. It kind of kind of transforms. Folds back. Yeah. Uh, they've got their uh, rear bumpers back here. And they've got their reinforcement for you want to put the big tires on there. you got to reinforce this stuff, man. And some of the early stuff where I've just seen kind of metal kind of bulking that up. I'm not sold on it, but these companies that are starting to do the latches and everything, I think that's the way to go because um, this... Mama Jama is running on 37. So that's a heavy tire. That's a very, very heavy tire. So you want a, definitely a lot of support on that. And as you can see here, here's part of their, their soft top uh, slides together, kind of factory like. That's pretty cool. But they, they seem to have a lot of options, Kelly. Mm -hmm. And at good price points, now, you know, you sometimes do get what you pay for. Yes. Um, so just be aware that sometimes cheaper is not always better. Well, but, and, and, and if you're concerned about where it came from, that's something you got to consider, too, because right. a lot of it is oh, not of course, of course. made here. 
But Havoc are off-road. We, uh, like I said, I dropped a video on them yesterday, so I won't spend too much time on it. But almost a one-stop shop. Yeah. For, if you want to, you got to stop Bronco. You come to this show. Literally, it's almost like okay, I can just go visit. Just Havoc. load your truck back up. Yeah, Havoc, and uh, now I don't, I don't have a stock Bronco. I got a, a badass Bronco. Uh, the tube doors and stuff, which I'm very impressed with their tube doors. Um, I will say that's one of those products that are generally foreign made. Mm -hmm. No matter what company you, you seem to go with, we had some Quadra Tech for our Jeep. Same thing, uh, but good prices on on that stuff. Now, Marimoto. You think of lights. You do think of their their uh, headlights and taillights and all the fun LED stuff that is to be offered. Uh, nice little. Oh, I like the old school Bronco display. It's very cool. Very cool. Of course, they have working displays where they have color. I think those are changeable i think it's what they're showing a customer is you can change colors on it be aware some states do not allow that so just be be fully aware that um that you know it, it does matter what state you're in but we'll kind of run through here real quick nice display and this is what the box is kelly for some reason you were like oh that's a cute box they what? are they're super cute look at them that's funny that's great. That's great. So you know why it's cute now. I know. It's all about sailing, man. But all kinds of nice brackets. I do like I do like these little tiny LEDs. Something that you might need a little extra light, but you don't maybe want to be the guy that's blaring yeah. it out there. Um, obviously, this thing is on some beefy, beefy tires. What size are Thirty sevens once again. Ooh, I like these. I like the kind of rear lights. How they're mounted like that. What do you think of that? I always hated it when people to put their backup lights on the Yes, keep them like, on a different shifting. switch. Yes, don't yeah. put them in your reverse light switch, but if you needed to back up, you're in the woods. Yeah, to need... be able to put them on. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got the aux switch for it, 100%, mm -hmm. but do not, please do not wire them to your backup lights. Yes, because on trails, they'll, they'll strobe. Or when you when the person in front of you goes to put it in to park. drive or park yeah. or everything, they flash along with yeah. it and it, it, just, it just kind of blinds you on the trail. But I like I like the way that is mounted. Of course, look, they've got the uh, the mats that you want yep, for the back Sure do. I'm sure we'll have to have those down the road. Oh, it's just Velcro. Yeah, just Velcro. Very oh, easy. Sold. Uh oh, I hope they don't have those at the show. <laughs> uh but once again cactus gray is classic color and i think some of these companies know you want a classic color list there you can see they're changing colors a little bit or it did there you go very cool very cool of course you're getting a, a dual led on that one. on top of that very nice man i like that quite a bit got the big deep dish wheels over here man we're getting into uh we're getting into um mall crawler and there's nothing wrong with it. It says off road on the side. Well, it does. But I'm for what those wheels probably cost. I don't know that I want to take those off road. But uh, there's. I mean, I don't know our friends. Our friends wheel with some deep dishes. Yes, that is true. It is true. Uh, but there's a the thing about these shows is there's something for everybody. You know, there is yep. a there is a look. You have your dream version in your head of what your Bronco should look like. Definitely. Uh, look how wide these things are, Kelly. That is massive. nuts. That is nuts. Look, arm to elbow. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that, man. Uh, I feel like I could uh, I could sleep in those. Like just throw little Dave in there. I'll just nicely, little Dave. Just nicely uh, sleep in, in those. So probably if I bought those, I'd have to sleep in those. Yes, because, you would. Because mom would kill me. True but story. Lots of cool colors, the wheels. Uh, these look cool. I like those a lot. I don't know that I would run them on it. Uh, off-road some of this stuff scares me because that for what they cost they're pretty and i would just hate to uh ruin my vehicle but there's uh speaking of uh fun there's your one of your, our favorite colors anti-matter blue yes which for why you why that was such, such an a, underrated color between that and rapid red why you just quickly did away with that i have no idea but so that is the inside of uh the Great Smoky Mountain Bronco Invasion. And, stampede. Um, stampede, sorry. Um, but I'm going to go outside here in a few minutes and uh, see what trouble I can cause out there because I know some clubs, some clubs are out there, Kelly. 
Mm -hmm. um, I, I do want to kind of see that they're do they're having a, what, a show and shine out there. Yep. And see what trouble I can stir up that way. So, um, guys, let me read the comments real quick just to see if there was stuff you were asking for. Uh, Randy says, "Thank you for giving us uh, access that uh, for those that cannot be here." Uh, let's see. Dave, uh, Dave, I love the cactus gray, so I, th I think I'll uh, order rapid red. <laughs> no, that Paul, that was a, that was a, uh, that was a, um, a compromise. So that was a marital compromise. That was yes, that was a marital compromise. Uh, let's see now. All right, now I can read some comments without running somebody over. Uh, what else we got? DP says, I like you, Dave, with tires. Uh, I want to try others, but I can't stray from the BFGs. Yeah, that's for me because tires are expensive. Yes. And it's a good three or four year commitment. You know? Yeah. It's an expensive It's commitment. not a, ooh, I need new tires. Yeah, and it's one of those things you know you're going to wear away. They're going to yes. wear out and go away. 100%. So it's, that makes it even worse. Yep. Uh, this is armor like Kelly. Yeah, I did want to kind this of talk is very this. cool. This actually is very cool because vehicles get hot, especially on your trails. Oh, look at all the custom colors they can do. Mm -hmm. On the trails, you want just a little bit of uh, maybe to help keep because it's idling a lot. You want to keep that a little bit away. That's definitely stronger than the, the factory. Well, yeah, and I would say that that's going to have some noise damp dampening yes. too where yes. it's going to help a bit with that. Yeah, but it looks like they're doing all kinds of fun colors with that. Um, maybe down the road, our starts to wear. That would be definitely something for Maybe. us to, um, and if you know, definitely like you're out in the like Moab stuff with the sandy conditions where well, yep. you're going to wear that real quick. I think that would be very, very cool. hundred <laughs> percent. But that is the inside. Uh, let's see here. We'll walk, oh, we got to walk back to Diabolical because we got to, we got to talk to, uh, oh wow, in a minute. Mark King gave us a super chat. I do greatly appreciate Aww, that. Mark. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Car Jeep's in the house. He says he hey, loves hey. you, Kelly. Car Jeep oh, yeah, Mark. Thanks for talking Dave into talking me into something from Oracle. Right, right. I, I greatly appreciate Mark's help on that. Since the sarcasm in my tone. <laughs> Paul Elliott. Oracle is a very enlightening company. Yes. Yes, and they'll enlighten your wallet just a little bit. Andy, let's see, grabs Dave's grab Dave's butt on live and tell see, him, did it. tell him I miss him. Uh, yeah, I was wondering what that was about. All I heard was Andy, and she said turn around. So I was like, you know what? I said, give me your butt. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust what's about to happen here. Oh, medical kits. This is something very cool that I, I actually like in the off road world. That there's, there's all kinds of ways to uh, for safety, Kelly. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Ah, and then they also accept FSA and HSA cards. Oh, nice. cool. Nice. All kinds of safety stuff here. Build your own. Awesome. That's right. Well, if you partner this with like uh, Mountain Cement Metal, you can build your own unique off-road uh, medical kit, which I'm telling you, a lot of people, oh, something caught her, something caught her, caught her attention. But having a medical kit, just something small, you never know off-roading something breaks people get hurt you just never know so it's always good to uh to definitely have some kind of safety kit in your vehicle i think kelly oh 100 percent. yeah it's i carry around a little tiny pill bottle or pill uh sorter thing just because we're getting to that age and it would be nice to definitely have a, a really good medical kit in the back of our truck so when uh i break her bronco and she's got something to can kind of beat me <sighs> and then repair me with you earned it Yep. Just saying. We have done the loop. Now we are back at Diabolical. So Diabolical's got this is their two-door cabinet. They've got their four-door vehicle in here, and they've got their Bronco in here. And so first I've got to, Alan sent me all kinds of pictures of it, but I love the wrap. Uh, I love the custom stuff that they've done. Now this is the matting that they've done here for their racks. Uh, that's custom. But I like the colors and stuff, man. It's very fun. Of course, you've seen we have we have the, the tailgate system. We have their uh, security system in this thing. We also have their... Um, I don't remember what he calls this, but it's a, a visor visor deal here. And look, you can see he's got a little magnet base on there. So you can put your phone up there for navigation. That's pretty cool. 
uh, all kinds of molly bags, ways to attach that stuff up there so you can need glasses, all that, all that fun stuff. So that's really cool. But his wrap looks really, really cool. Oh, you can be loud. You can be loud. You can slam doors. This is YouTube, lady. Look at that. Look at that. But Diabolical Ink. And uh, this is a wild track. I love his logo too, man. The little skull on there. It's very cool. Very jealous of uh, a lot of things about this vehicle. But nice wheels and everything. But he's about security systems for your Broncos. And you, you guys have heard us talk about this for quite a while. Um, screen capture that if you want. Check him out. And uh, till next time, guys. So let's see. Hold on. Got to do this right. Maybe. Maybe. All right, sorry about that. We are back. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these badass Broncos, everybody around here gets to drive. This has been your All-Terrain Nation. We've been walking around doing a talk through of the uh, the Great Smoky Mountain Bronco Stampede. And once again, here in about an hour or so, I'll go outside, show you what's going on out there. And uh, until next time, we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.